What up, y'all? I'm back for another video. Mean Girls wasn't up. It's not up yet as of now. So I am ended up doing close side. And I wanted to still do a video. So. Figure. Why not gloat about <clears throat> the beekeeper literally <laughs> making. And this is, keep in mind. This is something I heard yesterday. I mean, well, now it's technically Monday because it's like mid over midnight here, but um, Saturday. So it wasn't even the full box office numbers that it pretty much outgrossed Expendables for an entire fucking box office. Like, this is the power of a great movie, and I hope it does well. And that's just the thing. Beekeeper is just a great, you know, throwback kind of movie, you know, and. That's all, and that's what Expendables was. That's one of the reasons I think the at least the first three did well. They were throwback films. They were films like, you know, they're in the vein of like the old action movies of the nineties. You know, I mean, obviously it's the big action stars, but then it's like with Expendables four. So basically, a lot of this video is just gonna be me kind of comparing the films. And it's simply put, the Beekeeper gave us what we exactly wanted. Expendables four lie to you i mean one of the things they and i think they use this to their advantage because i i even at the time was like congratulating them when they were like oh you know we're gonna make the movie r-rated again we learned our we because i made it they made it seem like they learned a lesson because one of the reasons i like expendables 3 that the, there's a uh, unrated cut out there where basically it's r rated cut but and it's like they should have just released that in theaters because they fucked up not making it rated R. So I was like, oh, okay. Seemed like they're learning their lesson. But then it just turns out they just use that just to get people in because we got a bait and switch movie. Barney's barely in the film. There's no actual... That's another difference. Beekeeper's actual sets, There's they're actually outside. They're actually at a place. Like, I don't, the, the CGI in Expendables 4 is some of the worst shit. It's obviously nowhere near as bad as Flash, and but just, this, like, the, some of the shots when they're on the boat is so fucking dog shit. It's, like, and it's not Jason Statham's fault, because I think some of his scenes are actually some of the best parts. Like, that opening bar fight, which he saw in the trailer, but then you compare this to Beekeeper, which, you know, the trailer showed it's going to be this guy getting revenge, and that's what we got. I mean, just simply put, like, not even going too into the plot, you know, because I did, because I'm not going to really be doing that. I, I did that yesterday for about uh, almost 40 minutes, so figure just stick to just the basics. Like, this movie did well, simply put, because it was everything they said it was going to be. Not like Expendables 4, which lied. You know, and even like, oh, we just could be R rated. How many of the, you know, I gotta mention this in the the rant I did back at the time. The amount of the kills, which look cool, you only saw, you already saw the trailer. So it very much, you saw the the cool kills you saw in the trailer at the time were all the kills in the movie. Because there's none of the kills are really anything crazy. Whereas this movie, you see, you do see some of the kills in the trailer, but man when you see them in the beekeeper like in the, in the actual movie in the context it's so much better it you get you get what everything you paid it's like yeah you get everything you paid for and i think that's why it's doing better and the fact that it's outgrossing expendables 4 is hilarious to me it's like because when you try to scam the people and it's crazy because expendables is such just it should just be an, it's it's easy it's dumb action you should. You didn't have to fuck up. It, fuck it up. Like Expendables three had problems, but they still understood. Be a dope action flick. You know, it, you still had fun moments with the cast. You had none of that in in this one. And the the whole bait and switch thing they did, and and then they wonder why it didn't do well. And honestly, I do not want an Expendables five. Just sidebar, but like that is what. The reason Expendables Four did terribly versus this Beekeeper, which I think is doing well, is just it's a throwback film. We're getting what we exactly paid for. The movie said this is going to be this kind of movie, 
you get exactly what it says. Um, just simple story, not overly complicated, great action, like very great action. Like it's decent choreography. Jason Statham is just a badass. Um, even fun little side characters. It's actually genuinely funny movie. So it's like it has everything Expendables 4 does it. And that's simply put why it's doing better. And it's just hilarious to me that like it out made it made more in its than its entire run. And that was on a fucking Saturday, not even including the Sunday numbers. So it's I don't know, man. Just make a good film. That that's all you need to do. Don't fucking lie to the people. And the fact that it was expendables that did that, that's the part that really, really makes no sense to me. Because man. It makes no sense. Like that is what you fucking do. Like expendable four. I'm gonna go more into a rant on that <laughs> because I'm gonna. The reason I'm not talking about Beekeeper as much, I'm talking about it like in the sense of like comparing it, but I don't want to go too into it because I'd rather you all watch my review on it. Or right, you want to do the plot? <laughs> this is me more just kind of shitting on Expendables four again. Not gonna lie, it's kind of fun to get an, another opportunity to do it. Like. <laughs> <clears throat> doing the whole fake death with Barney, like, why? Like, what, what, <clears throat> like, what was the thought process to do that? <clears throat> We're gonna fake Barney's death and just have Stallone out of the movie. Some of the best things in the Expendables movie is, like, the relationship between Barney and Christmas. Like, Jason Statham and Stallone has some of the best chemistry in the movie. And I think the fact that we get a bit better chemistry between him and, I'm going to be honest, him and the cop girl, even though they only have a couple of scenes together, you know, Clay and Verona from, from Beekeeper have far better chemistry than he, he does with the new team in Expendables 4. It's insane. Like, the lack of chemistry with the team in the new Expendables. It's and it's like, how do you fuck that up? Like, why do you have to, like, just bait and switch? You couldn't just have Stallone in the movie. And, I'm, you know, I've been open to him dying. And, you know what, have Barn, you know, Christmas take over. I've been okay with that if you actually executed it right. But you decided to just lie and then give us a dog shit movie. Which I'm, like, just mad I paid for that. Because I even looked that night. It was already on the, the fucking... Online, so I could have just watched it online and not have to pay for it. But even then, I'd still been pissed off. Cause, like, what the fuck, man? Like, the, the, so you get wrecked. Expendables four. There's definitely no way there's gonna be a five. I, I think they really this one is like, I think it's a franchise killer personally, and I think it should be. I, I don't need Expendables five. Like, I would have been four if four was good, but no. Anyway, Beekeeper's great. Get Wrecked Expendables 4, and that's probably what I'm going to title the video. <laughs> fuck, fuck Expendables 4, go see Beekeeper, great action movie, Statham is great in it, and yeah, that's all I really want to say. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing my 2011 list, it'll probably be in the morning, or I'm going to try to make it in the morning, we'll see. Um, and then, that night, I'm going to try to review Saw. The first one, figure, I want to do Saw 2. I was going to do try to do, I was originally going to do Saw on Tuesday, but I figured we already watched it. I'll review, I'll try to review it Sunday night, I mean Monday night, and then Tuesday we can do Saw 2 and just kind of continue it as if I already watched, you know, reviewed it. So we'll do Saw 2 on Tuesday. Um, Just really quick, yeah, we'll go into what I got going on. Then on Tuesday, yeah, Saw 2. Wednesday will be, if Mean Girls is up by Tuesday night, I'll probably try to watch it Wednesday. 
and then we'll roast it Wednesday. And then Thursday, I'll probably do um, um, maybe the original Mean Girls. Actually, either that or I'll find like a really bad movie to roast. And then Friday, we'll be doing Transporter 3. So that's... Actually, no, no, no. Thursday, I'm going to be doing Red. I'm dumb. Forgotten for a second. Yeah, Red. So we'll be reviewing Red on uh, Thursday. And then Friday, we'll be... Um, Transporter 3. So kind of continued the Jason Statham little trend there. So, But aside from that, um, fuck Expendables 4. That's all I really got to say. It's kind of hilarious to me that Beekeeper in one fucking day, weekend, not even... The fact that like on Saturday, so not even like the full weekend, made more than in the entire run of fucking Expendables is fucking funny to me. So but anyway, guys, take one more hit and I'll call it here. Mm -hmm. <laughs>